You need to sit up straight. Like... <sighs> there you go. I don't ever sit like this, so there Not you. like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, <laughs> the first time we even saw each other was in the temple. <laughs> And it was really funny because um, they were trying to rush us. Me and my roommate had gone. They were trying to rush us really fast. And so, like, they finished my confirmation, and I hurry up and got into the font. And he was standing there, just like chilling. And <laughs> then they needed more witnesses. And so we were, like, waiting for that. So we were just, like, standing there in the font, like, so... How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> and um, we started talking and stuff. And we were talking the whole time until we started, and I never even got his name. <laughs> I didn't even know what his <laughs> name was. And he knew my name only because he had to say it over, like, 20 times or something to baptize me. Yeah. And um, so then I got out and got dressed, and then my roommate came in, and I, like, hurried up and got dresses so that I could come out and see if, like, he was still there, and he wasn't. He had to hurry up and get to class, but that was, like, the last time I had seen him, or the first time I had seen him, until we saw each other, like, a month later. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. All right, so the first time I ever saw Brittany, she didn't see me at first because she was walking into, it was in the temple, the Gila Valley Temple, and we were, I was working, you know, baptizing for the temple. I did it every, every week on Wednesday morning. And I actually, like, the day beforehand almost called in to not go in because I had a class at 10, and I usually went from 8 to 10, and I, I needed time to get ready and go to school and everything. So I almost called in the day beforehand, and something happened to where I was um, just held me over. I didn't get to make that call, so I still had to go in. And the first time I saw Brittany, she was actually walking around the font. She didn't look at me. I was, I was looking at her. She didn't notice. She was walk. She just walked in. She didn't even see me looking at her. And then, you What'd know, you think? I kept looking, obviously. <laughs> so, um, but the funny thing was, it was like I was about to get out of the font just before she walked in. And then one of the worker, one of the ladies that was working at the temple that day, walks in. She's like, "Hey, there's two young, there's two college age girls that are coming in. Like, can you stay a little bit longer and do?" It? I was like, "Of course I can." <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I just stuck around and um yeah she got rushed out of I was trying to hurry and so to get to class so the workers were trying to rush them and when she came out of the confirmations they realized that there wasn't two witnesses and and a person to do the name so she got in the she got in the font really fast but then we realized we couldn't even baptize till her roommate got done with the confirmation so we just started talking we found out that we both knew somebody from around here one of the Chapman family that lives in Gilbert. We both knew them. And we just started talking about that. And then I got her name, but she didn't get mine. And so after she left, I just ran straight out of there. I got dressed and ran. I didn't see her again. And then about a month later, I saw her at, um, at Singles Ward. And then I started talking to her. But she just felt bad because she didn't even know my name. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, this is a really funny story. Um... <laughs> We were, we had um, seen each other at church, and the first time we saw each other again, he was, like, sitting up on the stand, you know, passing the sacrament, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's the guy from the temple. Oh, my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> and my roommate was sitting next to her, I was telling her this, and she was like, oh, that's so crazy, and I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, after we kind of said hi, that we didn't, nothing really happened, but something that was really funny is, um, that next Monday, we had family home evening, <laughs> and I never go to family home evening, I was gonna throw that out there, he never does either, Yeah, he never goes to family home evening, but for some reason, we both went secretly because we wanted to see each other <laughs> but we didn't tell each other that till later but so I went to FHU that night and he did too and we're like oh my gosh what's up and it wasn't even my ward like I went to his ward <laughs> <laughs> to see him and to see if he was there and he happened to be there I was like yay and so we had chicken noodle soup because that's what we did 
We had soup there, and so... You ate it with your hands. Yeah, I did. Because the noodles are really long, and I couldn't, I couldn't get them in my mouth, so I was like, eating them with my fingers. Yeah. But he was okay with that. Yeah, I was cool with it. <laughs> but yeah, that was kind of a... So yeah, we didn't see each other for a month, and then I was at Singles Ward, and I didn't see her during Sacrament Wing. She says she saw me. I didn't see her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're on the stand, okay? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of faces, so I didn't see her. I, yeah. Um, but then... <laughs> I'm sitting in the I'm sitting near the back in in Sunday school with a couple of my guy friends and I look forward I look over to the side and I see her sitting like three rows up and I recognize her. And I was like, "Hey, that's that girl from that's that Brittany girl from the temple." And like I'm sitting there fighting with myself like, "Should I talk to her?" Like, I don't know, I was just being stupid. <laughs> and then Were you nervous? No. Um <laughs> Whatever. So I when the class was mm -hmm. over the release study stays and the priesthood goes. So I got up and I was walking past her aisle and I actually took two steps past her aisle because I was afraid to talk. I was afraid to like bring it up and I actually turned her. I was like, "Hey, you're that Britney girl, huh?" And then she does like this really awkward like, "Yeah." I was so and, awkward. <laughs> yeah, and then she was totally like, "Yeah, I am." <laughs> and then I think she, at that point she even asked for my name and it made me laugh because she didn't she didn't know my name and I hadn't realized that I didn't tell her either. But, <laughs> She's like, what? what's your name again? But then, like, I just told her my name. And then I didn't, and then I, I just left. And then the next week is when I actually saw her in actual, like, in the sacrament meeting. She sat in front of me. So when we both stood up after sacrament meeting, we went, I talked to her, and we went to Sunday school together. Mm -hmm. But the funniest part is we got along, and then I went to that family home evening that I never go to. Like, I just... I have it with my family, so I never go to the singles war. <laughs> and I went. I convinced my friends to go with me so that I could go and have somebody there because I wanted to see if Brittany was there or not, Just which was stupid. It was a stupid idea because she shouldn't even be at mine. It was, <laughs> it's my war, not hers. And so I went, and um, she was there. And when I – I was actually – I looked in real quick, and I didn't see her, and it was completely packed, so I was about to walk away. And then I just kind of like – Hopped on the other side of the doorway and I looked in and I actually saw her and she caught my eye and I was like, oh, she's there. Okay. So I actually <laughs> went over and got, made, uh, like got a chair and then afterwards she came up and she acted all interested in like the presentation. Oh, I was. The, I wanted the, to talk the to The girl that was giving the presentation was an old friend of mine. So I was talking to her about her trips in China and she's like, I'm so interested in all that. Whatever and I, I was. like, I was, I was so convinced of that at that point. I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we go and we eat, we eat dinner there because the family home evening had dinner. And then um, we kept talking and she told me that she lives in the apartments right there by the institute building. So I took her, I actually like walked her home. And then she invited me in. And we just talked for a little bit, and her roommates still, yeah, they were, they were really excited to have another guy in the room, and she was ticked because she wanted my attention. <laughs> um, They're like, who's this? Yeah, and like all the girls come out of all the rooms and everything. <laughs> and then um, Thatcher. I like stumbled backward out of her, when I was leaving her apartment, I stumbled backward off the step. And, and he tripped. Yeah, and so, like, she opens the door. Or she didn't open the door, but she, like, went to the door to, like, see if I was okay. And then, like, <laughs> I awkwardly asked her to come out and play tennis because I found out she liked tennis, and I teach tennis. So, like, I asked her if she wanted to go play tennis on that Thursday, and she said that she did, which we didn't even end up playing tennis in the end. But mm -mm. we just went out and got ice cream, but, yeah. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I, I played tennis once or twice. <laughs> My but she family. was like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, tennis is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that night, we decided to go out on a date, an official date. And we decided to go to the caboose, which is in Thatcher. It's a little ice cream shop. And we get all ready. He comes and picks me up. And we go to the little ice cream shop. And it's freezing outside. <laughs> but I wanted to sit outside because it was awkward in that place. Because oh, there was, like, yeah. one guy in there. Just staring at us. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, let's sit outside even though it's freezing. <laughs> and 
so we go out there. We're just like talking about everything and nothing. Just, just a bunch whatever. of stuff. Yeah. And we ate our little ice cream and I'm freezing my butt off. And so we're like, maybe we should go do something else after. And so we like get in the car. We're like driving. <laughs> and we end up going to his parents' house. I don't even know why, but um, he was like, um, I don't know if you want to come, it's kind of weird, you know, they're going to be like all crazy and weird, I'm like, it's okay, my family's crazy too, no big deal, <laughs> so we go into his house, <laughs> the best part, <laughs> we get in there, and um, someone's like, oh, is the brat, is that you, and, yeah, <laughs> who's with you, <laughs> oh, Brittany, <laughs> So we come and sit down on the couch, and his whole family comes out into the living room to come and talk to us. His whole family. And his mom's oh like, hi, you know, how you doing? Um, asking me all these questions and stuff. And I was like, it was, it was kind of cool. I was enjoying the intention. Yeah. But it was kind of funny, because they're like, my family... They're all curious and nosy about everything that's going on in everyone's lives. <laughs> and so um, we talked to them for a little bit. And it was fun. It was a good first date. I was nervous. I acted kind of weird. I'm sure. <laughs> Just wait till my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was that was first date. It was good. I was happy. Okay. Um... Uh, our first date was a really fun one, but an awkward one at the same time. Because <laughs> we were going to go, she, <laughs> I get a text at like 9.30 that morning from my best friend Jacob saying, hey, um, I need you to come with me to come give a blessing to um, my friend Daphne's roommate because she's hurting. And apparently she's having a really hard time. And so I was like, okay, so I just get dressed really quick. And I thought that it was a different roommate, but it actually turned out to be Brittany that was having a kidney stone that morning. Of my life. <laughs> so she was having a kidney stone that morning, <clears throat> and we go in there, and we actually, like, one of the institute teachers beat us to it with another guy. So we get in there, and we hear the blessing being given, and so we're just waiting quietly in the front room. And then they come out, and her roommate goes in there, and she's like, hey, um, Jacob and another guy came over. Jacob and another guy came over. And they were going to give you a blessing, but it's okay if they come visit. And I hear Brittany's voice like, um, who's the other guy? And then <laughs> uh, Daphne says, oh, it's, it's Brant. Brant, what? <laughs> what is he doing here? No, it's sick nasty. He's not going to come in here right now. I look terrible. I was so mad. I was like, I look so gross right I barely know him, and he's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I hear that I start laughing, which I'm sure made it worse for Brittany altogether. But the, and then Daphne tries to be like, but they really came over. They wanted to see how you're doing. She's like, fine. We go in there, and Brittany's literally in serious pain. And we, like after about 30 seconds, I was just like, Jacob, let's get the heck out of here. This is not how she wants us to see her. So we get out of I there. I was like on my bed, like my hair's like all. I'm in my pajamas. I'm like, ah. I'm like, hi. Yeah. Hey. Seriously. Yeah. But um. So. Sorry. Go on. We. So I. So I just was like, okay. Well, Brittany, I hope you feel better. And so we got out of there. And then I get a text around like 11 or something. That's like, hey, are you coming to devotional? I was like, wow, she got better quick. So I was actually in the middle of cleaning my car, and she doesn't know this. I never told her this. I was in the middle of like halfway through cleaning my car. And I hear that, I just like throw the, the cloth out and just put my car into reverse and back out and go straight over to the <laughs> to the devotional because I just wanted to see her. Aww. She said she saved me a seat, so I just went straight there. And then she, I dropped her off that day at school right afterward from that. And then um, we decided later that night not to play tennis. We still have not. Because it was so windy. Well, we have played tennis. We played tennis one time. Yeah, but that day we didn't play. And I figured she was probably too tired from all that anyways. So she skipped her Pilates class and went out to get some ice cream with me. Mm -hmm. Good trade. 
<laughs> and then, um, so we, I pick her up, and her roommates are all, like, freaking out at her house, and she's like, you ready to go? And she just zips right out and closes the door, because <laughs> they, they, her roommates were way too interested in what was going on. <laughs> and so, they, I think they wanted to interrogate me or something, but, like, Brittany had promised we were going to go back and play cards with one of them and another, like, one of her roommates mm -hmm. and another guy, like, on a double date or something. Mm -hmm. So I was just planning on getting ice cream and going back to her apartment, so I hadn't planned to do anything. So we go to that that caboose place or whatever to get frozen yogurt, which she corrected me on like three times because I thought it was just ice cream, and she's like, no, it's frozen yogurt. <laughs> and so we went and got frozen yogurt. <laughs> and then um, we, we got that, and we're sitting out there freezing to death, and she just, I think, it, I don't know if she's just trying to be cute, like she thought it'd be like that we were cute on those in the cold in February eating frozen, yo <laughs> frozen yogurt, or if like... I don't even know, but it, I don't think she really enjoyed it as much as she tried to lead me on to say, <laughs> but, um, so afterwards she was just like, so where do you live? I was like, well, I can show you real quick and then we'll go back, we'll go back and play cards with your roommate. She's like, okay. So we get in the car and like two minutes down the road, she's like, you're going to take me in, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> I maybe brought one home one friend that was a girl like one time and that was it. And I was like, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> she was all excited. She's like, "Yeah, take me in." I'm like, "Uh, you don't have to. No big deal. Like, you don't don't feel like pressure to do I'm it." I'm just very social. I just yeah. wanted to you know. <laughs> She's like, "I I'm just excited to see where you come from." And I was just like, "Okay." <laughs> so I was like, "Well, just be warned. My parents are crazy. Like, they haven't had that many c people come over, so they're not really experienced with dealing with boyfriends and girlfriends. <laughs> so, or even just dates, I guess at that point. So, <laughs> We get, we get, we drive up and I'm just like freaking out. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. Cause I hadn't told them that I was going on a date that night. I hadn't even told them about Brittany. Cause I just thought, you know, nothing had really happened yet. And so I walk in and my sister's jaw just hits the floor. She's like, you brought back a girl. <laughs> what <laughs> is this? And she's just like looking and she just like, she's at the computer. She just stops and nothing, nothing. Couldn't even believe that <laughs> what she was seeing. And then my mom pops out and just starts freaking out. She's all excited to see another girl in the house. And so, and of course, so they bring us in and they sit us down and just have everyone just swarm us all at the same time in my front room. And I'm just like, she's never going to go out with me again. This is the first and last date that we're having here. And then... They're nice. Oh, they're nice. I love them. But it was just like, it was real. I was just afraid that that wasn't the right way to start off any kind of dating relationship whatsoever <laughs> so we're, we're there and my parents aren't interrogating they're they were pretty good for the first time but like yeah it was still was kind of awkward she definitely forgave me on that one but i had warned her i fair game i had warned her but then then we watched some shows and i took her back uh to her apartment you go first this time? Yeah, you can okay, go first. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> this is actually my fault on this one. Um, I take credit for not having it work out so great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, so we had that first date, and I was absolutely sure that, like, it ended good. It ended on a good note, so I thought, you know, there's a chance, a chance of having a second date somewhere along the line, but I didn't think this could be the next day. And so, <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. This is embarrassing. You know, I'd always been told it's like, you'd always heard from guys who are like, okay, don't text the girl on the very next day. Let it, give her some space, because otherwise she's going to think you're a freak or that you're really clingy or whatever. So I, so I'm there on my, at Friday night, all of my guy friends are out with their girlfriends or doing something else, and I'm at my house, I'm like, man, I'm so bored, but I am not texting Brittany. Like, I am not going to have this girl freak out of me. I was just like, nope, not going to text her, whatever. So I'm at my house trying to figure out something to do. And I get this text, and she's like, hey, what are you up to tonight? And I was like, yeah, I texted um, him. Yeah, she texted me, and she's like, what are you up to tonight? I was like, um, not really anything. My, yeah, I just don't have anything going on tonight. She's like, then why the heck didn't you text me? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, well, why didn't you tell me? I'm so bored over here. And then, like, we were trying to do a movie thing or whatever. We were trying to figure something out. And then she's like, can I just come practice my medical stuff on you? And I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I was just like, um, like what? As long as there's no needles involved, I guess that's okay. <laughs> so she's like, no, no, I'm just, just like doing a regular, op um, 
physical. I was like, as long as there's not that last little detail, the guy's part, then we're all good. We're all good. <laughs> and so she, <laughs> so she comes over and uh, she starts doing it and everything. But it was like it was just funny because we hadn't like the night before the first day we just kind of like held, we just kind of like had my arm around her shoulder for a little bit. And then I take it off because I was like, I didn't know how like interested she was. I like take it off again. No, can I just interject go here? For it, go okay. For it. <laughs> so we're sitting on the couch <laughs> talking to his parents, <laughs> and he's got his arm around me on the couch, and then he like moves and puts it on my shoulder, and then like two seconds later he puts it on the couch, <laughs> and then he puts it on my. I shoulder. didn't know how interested she was in me. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> I'm like, what the freak is he doing back there? Like, he can't decide if he wants to, like, put his arm around me. Like, I was so confused. She's the whole time, like, she told me later, so the whole time she's just thinking, well, you just keep your arm there. And I I'm know, like, like oh, and I'm like trying to respect her, and she's not going for it. Yeah. And it's, okay, anyway, back to, <laughs> back to the second date. So she's there at my house, and everyone left. Like, it was crazy. My parents went on a date. My sister went off somewhere. The boys are back in the room playing video games or something. So we're just alone in my front room. And she's sitting there doing all the tests, touching me. I was like, that's a really awkward second date when she's got your hands <laughs> all over you. And she's trying to... I was to, doing a physical yeah, exam. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it I was a weird see. second date. Like, I wasn't complaining, but it was <laughs> not favorable, I guess. But, um... And then, like, she stayed really late that night. And my parents come home and say the most awkward stuff. I can't even remember what they say. They're like, wow, are you guys getting married or something? Like, the first thing they say at the door, I'm like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this is the second time she's come over and you guys are already saying that kind of stuff. So it was like, and she got super mad. She went super red in the face when they said that. No, I, was, I didn't. I did not. I was ready to punch my dad out for what he said, but it was. I got over it quick. Um, but then I, I took her home. No, she actually drove there, so I just walked her out to her car. And I actually did give her a kiss, and she went and bragged about it to her roommates later. Yep, you did. And then, because <laughs> she told me, then she bragged to me later about it too, so that's how I know. But yeah, that was our second date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our second date. I was so mad. I was like, what the heck? We just went on a date, and he's not even going to text me today? Like, what is his problem? Like,. I know he had fun, okay? <laughs> I know he did. <laughs> so I was just like waiting all day, just like doing my homework. He still doesn't text me. I'm like, what the heck? It's already like 6.30. Like he should, I wonder if he's just like hanging out with his friends or something. I don't know. So when I texted him, I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so dumb. I can't believe I'm texting him first. That is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> and so he texts me back. He's like, no, I'm not really doing anything. Just kind of send him house and all. What? Why did you text me so we could do something? Like, what is wrong with you? But it's okay. I forgive him. So um, he was like, so what should we do? And I was like, well, I'm still trying to practice for, because um, we had a skills test that next week on, like, doing physical exams. So we were just, like, checking, like, for skin and, like, you know, stuff like that. Stuff. She looked at me a lot, like. I was looking at his eyes. Me out. She was checking me out. And he got all nervous. She was checking out more than what the, the little <laughs> list said to do. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was like looking at his eyes and his nose and stuff. And I was making sure everything was normal. She was making sure that there was muscles underneath the sleeves <laughs> and doing other stuff. She was, all, okay, now flex. Okay, and great. And she's like... <laughs> She's like checking the ears. Does he take care of himself? Does he clean himself well? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. it smells good. <laughs> that was fun. But we just kind of like, there was like five pages of stuff I had to go over. And we got through like the first page and that's it. In like a span of like three hours. Because <laughs> we were just messing around. But it was really fun. We had a good time that night. And... He walked me out to my car, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if he's going to kiss me. <laughs> and he did. He kissed me first, and it was like, okay. And then the second time he kissed, <clears throat> it was just a peck. And I was like, oh, that was sweet. It was a good one. Good job. <laughs> it was good.
I was I was happy, and so I, I drove home, and I was like. <laughs> there you go. There comes the truth. All happy. I'm yeah. like, yeah, this that was great. And so I get home, and all my roommates are like, so what happened? I'm like, oh dear. And so I start telling you know what happened, everything. And then I was like, and then he kissed me, and they're like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I'm like, yeah. He's so into me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and man. That was that. It was good. Okay, so I'm definitely you the, remember I'm the well-behaved one in this area of our relationship. What? I am no. way better at this than she oh, is. Oh, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> so you're, now you're going to get it. Okay. Um, so I'm the one who has to tell Brittany to go home every night. Which is funny because we just went over and met the parents two days, three days ago. And last night, her dad said the same thing about her mom. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Brit, if it was up to Brittany, I, she would go home at like 3 or 4, but I've never let her stay that long. <laughs> but she would. She would stay so late at my house if I let her. But it gets, it gets up to like about mm. 10, 10, 30, 11. I'm like, Brittany, you need to go home for real. It's like, you got school in the morning. I got school in the morning. We, you need to go home. I need to take you home. <laughs> and it just doesn't happen. She starts saying, he she starts up another topic. She starts doing other. She gets like, <laughs> oh, I need some water. Uh, oh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. And then when she comes back from the bathroom, she like comes up. <laughs> she starts talking to me about other stuff that's going on. I'm just like, dang it, she's not going home anytime soon, huh? <laughs> she she purposely stays late, um, even though like I have stuff in the morning. She's got stuff in the morning. She's just like. But I don't want to go yet. And I'll be like, oh, Whatever. and then and then she gets mad at me. I'm just like, when I start telling her like at eight, I'm like, okay, for reals. Tonight at ten, you got to go home. She's like, oh, don't talk about that. <laughs> then we get up to we get to like ten fifteen. She's like, I'm not going home yet. What are you talking about? So she totally, she, I'm the one who has to tell her, Brittany, don't come over till your studying's done. You have to get done with studying, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So she has to, she has to, I tell her to study and stuff, and she's like, okay, fine. Then later she's like, thank you for making me study. And then the next day I'm like, hey, you need to study? No, I don't want to. No, you need to study, Brittany. <laughs> you got a test coming up. I have to know when her tests are so that she doesn't try to ditch <laughs> out on it. And I'm the one who's, yeah. So, like, I'm not saying that every single time it's me, but most of the time. But, yeah, she, she likes, she likes to study. She likes it. It's just that. She likes my house more. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about embarrassing moments? <laughs> if you really want to go there, you're, you're going to get it. We have to. We no. got to put this on taste. We remember. No, okay. Okay, you're to you, okay, you asked for it. You asked for yeah! it. Yeah! Oh, okay. Okay, so <laughs> about the second day or third day or something, we like hung out and stuff. Um, we had go gone and done something and... It was um, that second night because my family was night? gone, yeah. Okay. And um, we got to his house and we go in and we're like so hungry. We're starving. And <laughs> there's pizza on the counter um, that they had got. And so he was like, yeah, we got pizza. And so we we're like, you know, pizza, eating pizza. And we're just like talking. I think one of your friends was over, huh? No? It was just Hunter was came oh, in. Oh, it was now. Hunter. Okay. His brother. Yeah. And um, he was like eating his pizza and we we're like talking and laughing. And in the middle... Of us talking, we like started laughing really hard, <laughs> and a piece of pizza flies all the way across the table. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and he was so embarrassed. He was like, oh, I'm pretty oh, sure. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I was pretty red in the face. I'm pretty sure. And then I go over and I go to sit down, and the piece of pizza. Is sitting on the chair, and I wipe it off. I'm like, <laughs> oh. it was so embarrassing for him. I, oh, uh, he was, he was so embarrassed. Okay, so two weeks later, connected no, with, connected no, with that incident. No, do the two, lamp one, please. No, I Don't will. do I'll, the embarrassing. No, really gonna, embarrassing. I'm gonna no, go just back. do the I'm other. I'm gonna go end. back. No. <laughs> no. That's right. Okay. The story isn't even true. Whatever you totally admitted it later too. It's not true okay so anyway two weeks later she's making fun of me over another another lunch that we're having by ourselves at my house we're eating lunch 
and she's making fun of me for it. She's like, remember when that happened? She's just like dying. I'm just sitting there like, that's so not funny. <laughs> and she is dying laughing to the point where I go start to take a drink and I look over and she's laughing and two boogers go <laughs> shooting out of her nose. Just <laughs> they do not. And I was like, did I really just see that? And she's like, what? And she's like, she like tries to get a cup and tries to hide it like this, like nothing happened. And I was like, I totally just saw that. She's like, no, you didn't. And for like 10 minutes, she did not. Boogers did not come out of my nose. They okay. totally came out of your nose. And she's like, I told you didn't even see that. You did not see that. And I got it to the point where I convinced her to convince, to like admit to me that that happened. And then I was pretty sure that that had happened. But yeah, it, the boogers count. But the better embarrassing story is about a week and a half after we started dating. She came over to my, my house for Sunday dinner. And so she was, like, extra happy that day or, like, really wanted to be around me or whatever. But she was, like, this on me, like, on the couch. She was all over me on the couch. <laughs> I was not. Just holding me there. And my dad looks at, looks at us from across the room, directly across the room. And he's just like, man, you guys don't like each other, do you? And, he, and, and then he starts just giving us a hard time about it. And I'm just like, whatever. And Brittany's eyes start flaring up that little flame in the back of her eyes start going off. <laughs> And he's like, well, you know, at least we know where this is all going. Like, eventually, you just got to go back to the place you met at the temple. <laughs> and at that point, Brittany reaches over, pulls the pillow behind me. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! And she throws the pillow, like, directly at my dad. Hits him point blank. Like, hits him perfectly. <laughs> Boom. Rolls off of his shoulder. And off of the, the small stand that the lamp was on right next to the pillow. Hits that wolf lamp that my mom had given him for his birthday. <laughs> Oh, flips, throw that in. Flips <laughs> over and breaks the lampshade and the and the bulb right there. And she is dying. She is dying of embarrassment. She's completely red from at least her head to her arms were completely red. She was so blushing. And she is just hiding her face inside of my chest. And I'm laughing my butt off. And my dad's just freaked because he couldn't believe that she had reacted like the that. The whole family's like shocked to like... <gasps> and she's freaking out. And I'm the only one just sitting there laughing hysterically like... Every it was so funny to me it was hilarious, and my dad had asked for it, but she was so embarrassed, and she, I had promised I hadn't promised I had told her that I wasn't gonna tell her family, but then her dad promised big extra brownie points with him if I told him. So I showed him on my phone the broken lampshade and we. He took a picture of it. Yeah, and I got huge bonus points over that one. That was great. <sighs> It's not even fair. You got two embarrassing stories. I only have one. You tell you get embarrassed all the time about me, so I don't know. I can't believe you can't go up with more stories. I'm kind of picky. My family knows this. <laughs> I'm kind of picky when it comes to boys. Um, and when I date boys, I usually know within the first couple of days whether I'm gonna be like, see ya, and usually it's. See ya. <laughs> so, um, after the first couple of days, like, I had met Brant, like, <clears throat> I don't know, I just saw, like, the spark of something inside him that I was just really attracted to, and some, that sometimes happens, but I was, like, kind of interested, he kind of, like, made me interested a little bit, and so, like, I kept on, you know, pursuing it, and something that really, um, caught my attention was just, like, how good he was, first of all, to his family and to me. And he's just a sweetheart. He has, like, just this golden heart of goodness. And he's, he kind of reminds me of me, you know, like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Don't, but, but seriously. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, but seriously. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he's the first child in his family, just like I am. And so when you're the first, you kind of have to have, like, some sort of, you know, you have, like, a sense of responsibility that you have to have to your family and, you know, to your parents. And um, that's, what re that's what really made me like him more is he was, he was responsible. He wasn't just like, whatever, school's cool, like, I'm doing whatever. He was like, you know, he was really I serious. I talk like that. <laughs> Um, he was really serious in his studies, and um, he really made effort in um, his work and 
places that he needed to be. He was like, oh, I, I need to get on time to the here and here and here. And I was like, wow, that's that's cool. You know, he like makes effort to that. And um, <clears throat> he's just a sweetheart. He he always opens my doors and always makes my plate first. And just he's a sweetheart, always holds my hand. He's a sweetheart. And um, that's just what really caught my eye. He, he reminds me just of my dad, just sweetheart, just do anything for you. Treats me like a little princess. <laughs> and I love it. And, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> stuff that attracts me to Brittany. There's a lot of them, like, like, mm. there's a lot of things I could talk about, but, like, some stuff is she's really fun. Like, I love having fun, but sometimes I always feel like I need to have somebody with me to do it, or like, or like I need somebody to just kick my butt into gear, and then I'm good. <laughs> and like she does that a lot. Like I'll be, I'll be like really studying or something, or I'll be like busy working or whatever, and she's like, Hey, when are you gonna come over? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do something today or what? <laughs> and so I'll be like, Oh uh, heck yeah! And so I'll, I'll just quickly finish <laughs> up whatever I'm doing, and then we go over and we just have fun, like. No matter where we go, she can always talk to me about whatever. And, like, we have so much fun. I love it. Like, she's really someone that's worth being around. She's not fake to any stretch of the imagination. She's definitely really honest about how she feels about things. She doesn't... She cuts the crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, two days ago, when we were at Kohl's, oh, no. I'd walk out, because we're trying to find a nice shirt for engagement pictures, and I'll just walk out with, like, a shirt. She's like... Take it off, take it off. And there's other ones that she's like, uh, do you like it? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you think? She's like, no, but do you like it? Do you like it? She does, like, sometimes she'll try to hide it. It's like, obviously, okay, you hate it. <laughs> yeah, but do you like it? Like, <laughs> she's really, really funny. She's, she's really honest in the end about things. And she's just really down to earth. Like, I don't feel like I'm having to, like, call her down from the moon or something or, like, go out of my way to see what she wants like she'll tell me and she'll be really honest with me about stuff and she's just really really funny like I love her humor and her sarcasm <laughs> like I never thought I was gonna find a girl as sarcastic as me but <laughs> she beats me out sometimes <laughs> uh, that's not me I'm not sarcastic sure <laughs>